Donald Cardoso Baron, Spiritual Master Father of a Divine Rainbow Child Nelly Belen. Hello, my beautiful divine souls, beings of light, extensions of divine source energy. That's you, nothing less. You already know this by my previous videos. You're powerful, you're a creator. We want one is all of itself. We everyone, everyone is us. You're extension of that beautiful divine source energy. Picture yourself extension of the sun, but a hundred billion times bigger. That's source energy. Just like a sun, but almost infinite. So that's where we come from. That's where everybody has different names from God, Allah, uh, the whole nine yards. But that's where we originate from. That's what we are indeed. We are extensions. We are extensions of that divine love, that unconditional love, we are that love. We are that energy, that mathematical cause of all nine yards. And the video that I have to make today, I, have, I got an urge to make this video beautiful divine soul, even though you know, uh, I've seen Nelly doing this on this from this balcony to that balcony. As you can see down there, you can see some toys over there. That's what I'm, it's this message about. If you can see to my, uh, uh, and, and as always, do your grounded meditation. Do do your stay grounded. You know this by my previous videos. I started a spiritual path and follow this beautiful world going around and do your grounding techniques. Hug the tree. I was doing my sun gazing. That's why I felt compelled, compelled to make this video. If you can see to my uh, to my left, beautiful divine soul. In your case, it will be your right. You see a beautiful children playing in the balcony. So this is in regards to this imagination and this unconditional love and this bliss that these children live. These rainbow children or these other children that are, might not be rainbow, but they're still beautiful children and they're still divine. So all these beautiful children down there, beautiful divine soul, you can see them one balcony up and one balcony down, separated by probably, I would say, 50 feet. But they're playing. They're playing together, beautiful divine soul. Nothing stops these beautiful divine souls, these beautiful magical little children from having fun. Nothing stops them, beautiful divine soul, because they live from that unconditional love, that bliss. That's why they never get sick. That's why they don't worry. That's why even though you punish them or you whatever you think you're doing in this human experience, in this incarnation, you think you are doing something to them and getting to them, you are doing it that out of your ego. You, you're doing it out of this physicality. You're doing out of that red flag that I spoke in my previous videos, being the ego and green flag being the divinity. If you punish them and do that, they cry. You punish them in the physical, but deep inside their love, their unconditional love. And after you've done what you think is right in your mind by punishing them, by making them cry, by making them feel less, by putting them in a box, you don't realize that a minute, a minute later, you don't realize that a minute later that they're happy. And they love you unconditionally and they're still playing and they come and hug you and they love you again because they forget because they live with that coherence and that awareness the awareness and the coherence that is the present moment so whatever you might have done two seconds ago it made them cry and that present moment when they get over it and becomes that present moment of bliss they already forgot it and they don't longer remember that they will remember that when they get older when they get older they will remember that and they will use that if you don't encourage them and you don't guide them with love and and and, 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 and love and unconditional love they will remember that negativity and they will use it against you because that's what you put in their hearts that's what you that seed was put in their hearts by you and by traditions by by costumes and the whole nine yards that you you are not when you become awake in the spiritual awakening you realize that you have an eagle and you have a divinity the, the red flag and the green flag you will act accordingly if you have not awakening and you 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 are not in the spiritual uh, path then you're gonna identify with that ego and it's not gonna bother you or, or, or whatever it is at that present moment that you might find yourself in the so-called future that's when you realize what you put in that little kid's uh, heart in that seed will be 
what you, what they put into your heart, but you didn't do anything about it. So be present in the present moment and don't put that negative seed in that kid's heart because they might use that as a tool in their ego to get back at you and make you feel bad. But if you teach them unconditional love and, 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 and all that, something that they already know. So don't put them in a box and make them forget. So once you keep on cultivating and embracing that quality and that beautiful bliss that they're in up until they are, uh, they are until seven, eight years old, if you keep on cultivating and embracing that beautiful bliss that they're playing right now and they're playing from one balcony to another one and nothing bothers them, if you don't cultivate and embrace that, they're ready for the so-called future and the consequences. So, with this message that I'm telling you, is that you have to embrace that love and that creativity and that uniqueness that these children have because they are the teachers. They are here as the third wave to teach us these things. Unconditional love and they don't have to do anything, they just gotta be. So for those who are new to this channel, my channel, watch my previous video, my previous videos, watch the videos on the Rainbow Children, watch the previous videos on Nelly, watch the things that, watch the things that I do with Nelly and Benjamin, watch, watch the things that I speak about when it comes to these magical little children and use those, this, these videos as an example, how they're playing from one balcony to another one without being confined in a building. You know, they don't, they're so powerful that they don't, they don't need to be, you know, be taken outside physically for, for them to, to express that magic. They will find a way, they have that imagination that they're in one balcony and another one's another balcony down below and they're separated by 50 feet away, they're still playing. They're communicating by their waves, by their frequency, by, by their vibration. They're talking to one another. Taking, take, bringing one toy to one, uh, and another toy and talking like this back and forth. And they're happy. You know, they're happy right there. And they will be happy outside and they will be happy in nature. Of course, if you take them to nature and you take them to a field and you take them to, 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 uh, to mother nature, to, to, to the whole enchilada, the whole nine yards, if you take them over there to be a part of it and to start, to start connecting with everything that they're already connected. But if you're doing that with them, more power to you. But if you're doing, doing to them, don't put them in a box. Let them enjoy that, that cre creativity that they have. Let them enjoy that beautiful bliss. Let them enjoy that joy in their hearts. They have that joy in their hearts that we forgot. We once had it when we, was, we were children and for some reason or another, some of us chose to forget it. It's time to claim that power back. It's time to bring that power back from the children. In my case, I'm blessed. I'm, I'm truly blessed. In this physically, I think my ego wants me to tell you that I'm blessed because I experienced Nelly. And I, 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 I go back and forth with that energy of love and joy back and forth and Benjamin back and forth and joy. That's why I do the videos that I do. That's why I am the person that I think I am in this physical experience. When I know that I'm much more, so are you. So is everyone. So is every living soul in this incarnation having the temporary human experience in this blue planet. All of us are divine souls energy. So is peanut. So is this cat. So are all these animals. They are beautiful and divine. Love and respect for every living thing, beautiful divine soul. Love and respect for a little ant. Love and respect for a termite. Love and respect for a whale, for a dolphin, for a tiger, for a cat, for a mouse, for a cricket, for a toad, for a bird, for an eagle. No creature is too big or too small. No creature is too small or too big. We are energy. Formless energy with love. And these rainbow children are the ones that are here to teach us that message. So, I felt compelled to give you this message because I I saw Nelly playing, I saw Nelly playing around with Benjamin from this balcony to that balcony with the, with the neighbors down the street. I don't physically need to know the little kids' names or, 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 or parents or anything. All I know is that these children live in my heart and I live in their heart. I have the Christ conscience in me. 
the, the Christ consciousness lives in them and they live out of that divinity. See, the difference between some people that are vibrational at a low frequency vibration is that uh, some of us forgot about it. Some of us forgot our divinity and once and, and the things we felt when, when we were little children. So that's why the three waves come into place. That's why they send the three waves of volunteers to incarnate at this particular time of Aquarius. That's why you have the that's why you have the indigos, the crystals, and the beautiful rainbows. And the soon come uh, to, to populate the diamonds. Watch all my videos in regards to all these topics, beautiful boys. Watch all these beautiful children playing around. Watch, uh, have a close look to, to your neighborhood and where you are. Whatever you come in, every any continent, any country in this beautiful planet, beautiful divine soul, you're a beautiful divine soul having a temporary human experience. So pay co close attention to the children. Let them come to you. Let them spread their bliss. And notice, they don't get sick. They don't care about a mask. That's why they are immune to this uh, so-called pandemic because they live out of this out of this uh, bliss and this knowing that this is not going to affect them. Why do you think they don't get sick? Why do you think they do not get sick? Do you have the answer? Do the doctors have an answer for that? Do science have an answer for that? No, they don't because they're not spiritual. They're not spiritual. They, they don't know. But spiritual master teachers, 140,000, masters giving you this message, know the answer to this. And the answer is that you have to know the power within, the power that you have, that you're formless, and you need to know all this once you open your third eye and you're awake. But you're already it. You just have to realize it and remember. The children already know it. That's why they don't get sick. That's why these children do not get sick. That's, the, that's why whether they wear a mask or they don't wear a mask, it doesn't really matter because they're immune, because they live out of the bliss. And also, spiritual masters and people that are awake, any kind of three waves, live out of that mentality of the children. They live like that. That's why I do not get sick. That's why I do not get sick. That's why I heal my body at will, because I know what they know, and they know what I know. And this awareness of all of us that we're sharing, people that are vibrating at this particular frequency, they all know this. The people that are waking, uh, the divine souls in this experience having a low vibration, a low frequency, that they don't know this, these are the ones that are not vibrating with this information. These are the ones that get sick. These are the ones that attract that because you have fear in your heart. You put that in your heart instead of unconditional love. You put that into your brain and this is what you attract. So, I'm giving you the information that is precious. Children do not get sick because they live out of this unconditional love and this vibration that is God frequency vibration. When you vibrate and calibrate and resonate at the same frequency as they do and you come to this spiritual awakening, come aboard, like I said on my on one of my previous videos, come aboard the train and you come out of this beautiful, out of this beautiful knowing, the age, the age of Aquarius, the age of knowing, you're going to vibrate and calibrate like those beautiful children out there. And then you're not going to get sick, you're going to be happy and you're going to start already making your transition to the fifth dimension it's your choice beautiful divine soul third dimension fifth dimension new world with mother Ed, Pachamama Gaia, with new children let them come to you rub on that bliss rub on that beautiful frequency and that energy and come aboard this is my message for you today about this bliss of the children that they don't need anything, they don't need mass, they don't need anything to be happy. Be like them because you already are powerful. Just come back and remember. And I leave you with a beautiful magic word and tell you that I talked to you in my video. Next video that's going to be profound as well. Have a good day now. Whatever you are beautiful, the band so. Namaste. If you resonate with this video, Please like and subscribe to this channel and share. Namaste.